Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Kim Kardashian, Bianca Sensori, and Mr. Ye. Now, I've been given some information and it's definitely not shocking. Definitely neither is it surprising nor is it far-fetched. So let's get right into it. Now you guys know how we do on my channel. We unload with a lot of receipts, okay? And most of the things that we have to talk that we talk about here, we always try to go above and beyond to get some receipts. Now, in this video, it's a tip. And I cannot give away my sources, but I do believe that this source is not telling a lie because we're already seeing some evidence of what um, I'm about to talk about. Now, it's been alleged that Kim Kardashian and her camp, they are planning a mass smear campaign against Bianca Sensori so as to make Bianca Sensori look as though she's dumb, she's stupid, she's crazy, she's being controlled by Ye, and she wants to escaping, escape him, but she cannot escape him because Ye has her treating like a slave. So what they're um, planning to do is to totally ruin Bianca's image and, you know, her reputation, also Ye's image and reputation. Now, the main reason um, why this is being done as per the source is because Bianca is capturing the spotlight. The media would normally report on Kim and her family, but what is happening is that when the media does report on Kim on, and her family, no one is looking at those reports. Kim have already tried to do the Bianca comparison, which did not do much for her because people were not having it and Kim got trashed for it because people could see where Kim wanted to um, tap in on Bianca's popularity to sell her product. So it is also demonstrating to people that her skims line is not doing well and it would be best that Kim and over skims to emigrate because Kim's image is damaging the brand, allegedly. Now, I can say that we have seen where Kim has definitely tried to use Bianca to sell her skims line. I have done videos on those proving to you where instances of that had taken place. Also, when it comes to allegations of Kim and her camp allegedly um, starting a smear campaign of Bianca, we can see where that is happening already because the mere fact that the media initially reported that Kim wanted to have a sit down with Bianca, the sit down did not happen. And then after the sit down did not happen, there was a report that came out afterwards that said Bianca's friends, you know, believes that Bianca is making a huge mistake, Ye is controlling her, and Bianca has been complaining to that friend about Ye. When you put both articles together, you could see that the things that Kim wanted to talk to Bianca about in that sit down was the same thing that Kim, you know, the same thing that Kim wanted to talk to Bianca about in the sit down is the same thing that was coming from the friend's mouth. So automatically we could detect that there was no friend speaking. Additionally, Bianca's friends are from a tight knit circle, very close circle of people who doesn't run about, you know, blabbing to the media or talking to the media. We have shown evidence of that when the Daily Mail went into Bianca's hometown and they followed Bianca's mom for the entire day. They stalked her and she just, you know, laughed at them because she was like, y'all are nothing but a set of damn clowns based on her body language. And when the Daily Fail tried to question the citizens of her community, everyone was tight-lipped. Now, 
Also, what is clear is that every report that they're telling you that a friend of Bianca, they can never name that friend. They can never highlight the association. And you know that the media is telling a lie right there. Already, Bianca's hashtag has, it is slowly being removed from a lot of platforms. So you know that someone who has money, power, and control is doing it. Someone wants her influence gone because their family brand, image, and business, money, sales, are being affected by Bianca's presence. If you all remember, I said to you, Bianca is lowering the Kai Jenner's asking price without even intentionally doing it. But it's just that any woman who is with Ye automatically becomes the reigning queen and the trending queen. Most recently, Candace Owens could even be seen in a podcast saying that Ye is popular. The media is obsessed with Ye. So anyone that he's with, that person automatically becomes popular. Now, let me clarify something as well, because I realize that, y'all, sometimes it's so exhausting being a content creator. You have no idea because they're trolls, but then I realize that they're people, again, who really doesn't think. And I have to say it like this, and sorry, I have to say it like this. Sometimes we're not perfect and there's common sense, but I realize that a lot of us are easily tricked because we really don't apply wisdom. We're not going to get everything, but we should always try to apply wisdom and try to learn from others. In the podcast series, Candace Owens used the term dating to refer to Kim relationship, Kim's relationship with Ye and Bianca's relationship with Ye. And so many people were focused on the fact that Candace Owens said Kanye and Bianca is dating, but they weren't focused on the fact that she used the same term for Kim. When a woman is pregnant, she goes through brain fog and Candace Owens speaks fast. She's not being picky on words and she wasn't looking that, thinking that people would be putting everything she said in that moment under a microscope. She thought it was clear cut, people would have gotten it. You have to think guys, not because she said dating when it comes to Bianca. It doesn't mean she's saying there's nothing more to Bianca when it comes to Ye. Remember, she also used the same term for Kim. She said, Kim and Kanye used to be dating. It happens to pregnant women. We all know Kim and Ye, they were married, right? So let's get over it and not read into things too deep. When we're supposed to read into things deep, we don't. And when we are not, that's, time, that's the time we do. Anyway, I just wanted to make that clear. Moving on, right? Now... We know that it's definitely not coming as any surprise that they're going to start a smear campaign against Bianca. Now, initially, they were saying that Bianca does not have a college degree. She's not educated. Now, they're saying that she's educated, but she has been demoted to Kanye's assistant. It doesn't matter the role she's playing in Kanye's life because that is between Kanye and Bianca. Why is it that the internet wants to live everyone's life for them besides their own? People on the internet always believe that an individual should live a way that pleases their eyes, but the individual should not think about their feelings, like that person's feelings is not valid once they're painting a picture that the internet loves. And this is why Kim will always trick people sell you all fake deals that don't exist so you all lose your money, sell you products that aren't good so you always lose your money because she knows the internet loves a lie. Her family knows that the internet loves a lie. The media knows that you all love a lie and they're going to keep lying to you. And this is how people end up being poor, miserable, and depressed. Not at all times, but sometimes. You have to unplug yourself from all the false narratives around you. Don't think that money is evil. Wealth is evil. It's not. 
It's damn good to have money. It's damn good to have wealth. But being controlled and consumed by money and wealth is not good. When you have money and wealth, you can expand your lifespan. You can go to the doctor quicker or you can get all the herbs that you're not able to find around you. You can do your exercise. You can buy all the fruits and wealth is good. And we can all accumulate wealth if we just unprogram, detox, and think about things from a different perspective. It's all in the head, okay? Stop being controlled. Stop being brainwashed by people. They want to keep you under their feet so that they can scoop up everything for themselves and their family and become billionaires. And then you stay there in your homes and say, oh my God, look at Nord. Her life is better than mine. She has so much makeup. I don't have any. Kim, send me $20. Kim, send me this. And you're there spending your time worshiping and praising Kim. Instead of, you could be making two YouTube videos or TikTok videos talking about what Kim just posted, talking about what Demon Moore just posted. Learn how to capitalize on the opportunities around you instead of being blindsided by the media and these celebrities. You don't have to be living in the brainwash mentality, teachings, or practice. We all cannot be the same, but open your eyes, people. Like, open them. Wake up. Smell the ganja. I'm tired of saying it. Smell the ganja. Don't you think that... Bianca is happy. And let's say if Bianca is being controlled by Ye, right? If Bianca was being controlled by Ye, if Bianca was unhappy, it would be showing in her face. She would be losing weight rapidly. When a woman is stressed, her skin doesn't glow. If you look at Bianca, sometimes I have to zoom in to see if that woman is wearing a stocking. Her damn skin is glowing. She looks damn good, and every time we see her, people are assuming she's pregnant because she's eating damn good. And what the media is saying is what the media does to stay afloat. Lie. They want advertisers. They want breeders. What sells? Lie on yay. If you notice the channels that tells lies, clickbait, did perform way better than the ones that breaks it down, comes with the truth. It takes a while for a channel that speaks the truth 90% of the times or 98% of the times to truly get to that point, right? Because people love lies. It makes them feel good. I can make an entire video telling you all about the Illuminati, Satan, devil word. I can trick you all into so much shit and do better. It's just that I consciously choose not to do so. But other people are consciously choosing to do so because they don't give a rat's ass about you, your mental health, the knowledge they share, and your well-being. But in life, we were created where someone is going to break out of the matrix and strike a balance. I don't know where I'm at. I don't think I'm in any matrix. I'm a freelancer. I'm like Sam West. I'm a freelancer. I cannot be controlled. I cannot be brainwashed. I love you today and hate you tomorrow. Like you the day after. Love you again. I can love you and hate you all in the same day. I can fight for you. Call you out all in the same day. It all depends on who you are in that very same day. Okay? People le must learn to be free. We're not slaves. Get into the practice of thinking free and be in damn free. Okay? Okay. And that's all I have to say about that. See you all later. Peace.